Hello readers. So what I'd like to do is um, read the reading passages in our reading packet for those of you that enjoy a read aloud or those of you that this reading might be a little difficult for you, at least you can try the activities and still be successful. So that's the purpose of this. I'm not going to talk you through the whole article and think tracks like I do in class, but I will give you the opportunity to listen to the story, make your own thoughts around the, along the way, answer the questions, and then in the um, answer keys I post, you can compare your think tracks to my think tracks. Um, so I think that will be how we're gonna go about doing this. Um, just a few reading tips that you should be doing. Whenever, don't never skip the directions. Um, read the story, then answer questions. You know, the, the numbers there. Always note what, they're, what text they're telling you about. This is a story, so right away you should be thinking that this is a fiction piece, the fiction genre. Always circle the title of whatever piece you are reading um, and make a prediction or a connection to whatever you think it's about. So for example, excerpts from My Grandma Tally. Um, I'm gonna focus on the word grandma and I'm gonna say special person in my life, okay? Um, I did skip this line over here. Never skip kind of the background information, except especially when there's an excerpt. If you remember, an excerpt means parts or yeah parts of a bigger text okay so an excerpt is just one part or a couple parts of a bigger text okay a lot of times when you have an excerpt there's some sort of background information um, something that you must need to know in order to really make sense of the piece Kincaid is visiting her grandmother Tally during summer vacation okay before you start reading the piece if there are questions involved, read the questions first. That will give you um, kind of a sense of what you should especially be paying attention for. And that's just a good reading strategy, whether it's for a test, uh, an assignment, science, social studies, or an article you're reading for a magazine. Okay? Which information helps the reader understand the meaning of cherish in paragraph six? Well, I know that this question is focusing on cherish in paragraph six. So I'm going to go back to my reading real quick, and I'm gonna circle paragraph six so that when I get to this, I know that I'm going to have to pay close attention. Question two, based on paragraph 12 through 19, which sentence best explains the difference in the character's reactions to the objects in the trunk? So we wanna focus on 12 through 18 and character reactions. So I'm going to go through 12 through 18, and I'm just going to make a quick track. Abbreviate character, reactions. And if you wanted to use the words feelings instead, go ahead, make it useful to you. And that's what I mean by a think track. It's not a full sentence. It's kind of my own abbreviations, my own thinking. That's what you need to be including. In paragraph 19, what does the narrator mean when she says her laughter floated through the house as sweet as the taste of jelly beans? So we want to look at paragraph 9, and, you know, I just want to note her laughter. Okay, so I'm going to go to paragraph 9. I'm going to circle it. Oh, you know what? I think that's paragraph 19. Yes, paragraph 19. I said nine, and I knew that didn't make sense. So paragraph 19. And we want to know about laughing. Okay. Okay. And then question four. What detail best shows what Grandma Telly thinks about change? So we want to know about change. Okay. So you know, hopefully that keyword can stick in your head while you are reading and you're gonna focus on when characters go through a change. Which paragraph best expresses a theme of the story? We wanna focus on a theme. Remind yourself of what a theme is. Lesson you can apply to your 
own life. Okay. And last question. Read Grandma Tally's words from paragraph 26 in the story. Remember, Kincaid, we take our loved ones in our hearts wherever we go. I won't be more than a heartbeat away. When Grandma Tally says she won't be more than a heartbeat away, she means she won't seem far because... Okay, so we're looking for reason, a reason, a reason this is being said. And we've got to focus on par paragraph 26. So here's 26. <clears throat> I'm going to circle it. And if you don't want to circle your text, that's fine. Give it a star. You know, some people might think all the circles kind of crowd their thinking. That's fine. Just don't do that then. But make note of it in some way. Okay, so I'm just going to read this to you. And then um, you can do your own thinking and then check your work with the answer key. Okay. <clears throat> Excerpt from my grandma Tally. You still fretting about moving out of state? Oops, sorry. You still fretting about moving out of state because your mama's job? Grandma Tally asked, swiping again at the fly and missing. Yes, ma'am. California's so far away. Going to a new school, making new friends. It's scary. I can't imagine not sitting here with you, listening. <clears throat> to your stories. I know, Kincaid, but things work out, most times better than we expect. You've got a lot of memories to take with you. Just remember to keep them tucked inside your heart. I wish I could stay with you forever, I said, tears brimming in my eyes. I turned away to stare at a doodlebug digging in the dirt so Grandma Tally wouldn't see. Don't you worry, you'll make friends just fine. She was right about one thing. I've got a lot of memories like climbing up the old cinnaberry tree in our backyard, baking tea cakes and gingerbread in Grandma Tally's old wood stove, sitting on the railroad tracks over woman hollering creek with my best friend Bonnie Jewel, fishing with bamboo poles. I'll cherish those memories forever. I watched Grandma Tally squinting at the sun, making the large crow's feet lining her face resembling a patchwork quilt. I loved her wrinkles. I'll remember every crease line and fold in her face for each one told her life story a huge collie the color of peanut brittle appeared from the johnson's house next door yipping and yapping trying to jump over the picket fence into the yard ms moonlight sprang from my arms and streaked up the trunk of grandma tally's magnolia tree fragrant fragrant with giant pearl blossoms scat get away from here now causing trouble grandma tally scolded the dog he trotted off down the street, his tail between his legs, hunch, hunches low. Come on, let's go inside. Got something to show you. Grandma Tally rose from the chair, holding onto her straw hat with one hand and picking up her wood cane with the other. I followed her through the screen door, stopping for a moment to place <clears throat> the dirty glass in the kitchen sink, the pitcher of tea in the icebox. She limped towards the hall closet, her cane tapping along the floor, me close on her heels. She opened the closet door and placed her straw hat on the top shelf. She patted down her spit curled hair that had been <clears throat> muscled up by her hat and began searching through stacks of clutter on the closet floor. Grandma never wrote much down except for birthdays and deaths noted in old family Bible. No, Grandma told stories and gave me this. Grandma Tally smiled warmly, dragging out an old trunk, a trunk full of precious memories. Inside the trunk were old clothes, a glittering jewelry box, family pictures, a huge black Bible, handwritten letters scrawled on paper frayed and yellowed with age, and an ancient quilt. I sifted through the pictures and spotted one of a young woman in a 1920s teal flappers dress, white leggings, button-down shoes, and a spit curl hairstyle. That's you, I squealed with delight. Yes, still wet behind the ears, Grandma Tally, Tally chuckled. You look beautiful, I gushed. Why, thank you, I think so too, I must say. She grinned. Opening the jewelry box, she held up a pair of rose-colored earrings with a matching necklace of rainbow crystal hearts. These were given to me my, by my Aunt Eleanor for my 16th birthday, she said. I've held on to them long enough. Here, you take them. They're your going-away gift. She placed the jewelry into my hand, and her laughter floated through the house, sweet as the taste of jelly beans. <clears throat> I clipped the earrings to my ears and draped the necklace around my neck. My eyes surely sparkled as bright as my rose-colored earrings. Thank you, I mumbled. I wasn't 
wearing royal robes, only a t-shirt and flowered shorts, but I felt like a beautiful African princess. Grandma Tally gazed admiringly at me. Our family made up of our ancestors, grandfathers, grandmothers, my mother's father, sisters and brothers. You have some of them inside of you. Memories are like a patchwork quilt of our lives. Kincaid, and it's up to us to choose which patches we stitch into it. I've taught you the way grandma taught me, like her grandmother before her, passing on our stories to those coming after us. Grandma Tally carefully lifted out a quilt and laid it on her bed. I sat on one of the oak chairs next to her. When we tell our stories, we pass them on to the next generation and honor those who came before us. Grandma gave this to me when I was just about your age, she said, unfolding the quilt. She held up the quilt and seemed old as time itself. This was taken from my wedding dress when I married your grandpa Wil Wilford, she said, touching a patch of satin the color of um, Ikru. This is from the dress in your photo, I said, pointing out the teal patch. Yes, and one day you'll give this quilt to your daughter who will pass it on to her daughter. Remember, Kincaid, we take our loved ones in our hearts wherever we go. I won't be more than a heartbeat away. She smiled, hugging me tightly. <clears throat> so, I am going to read the questions and the answers, and then you can answer them and check with the answer key. Make sure you are going back to the text. Hopefully you made a think track per paragraph, which means write the main idea of each paragraph. Um, that would make going back to the text so much easier. <clears throat> Number one, which information helps the reader understand the meaning of cherish in paragraph six? A, Kincaid's memories are of happy times. B, Kincaid's mem memories are about outdoor activities. C, Kincaid's memories are about learning new things. D, Kincaid's memories are of people she will likely see again. And you can stop and rewind the video to re-listen to the question if you need to. Question two. Based on paragraph two through 19, which sentence best explains the difference in the character's reactions to the objects in the trunk? A, the objects seem ragged to one character while the other character they seem new. B, the objects seem to be costly to one character while the other character they seem to be inexpensive. C, the objects are familiar reminders to one character, while the other character, they are exciting discoveries. D, the objects are family treasures to one character, while the other character, they are personal belongings. Th question three, in paragraph 19, what does the narrator mean when she says, her laughter floated through the house, sweet as the taste of jelly beans? The laughter reminds Kincaid of the candy Grandma Tally keeps at her house. The sound of Grandma Tally's laughter gives Kincaid a light and pleasant feeling. The sound of Grandma Tally's laughter can be enjoyed by others inside the house. The laughter reminds Kincaid of how kind and thoughtful Grandma Tally has always been. Question four, which detail best shows what Grandma Tally thinks about change? You still fretting about moving out of state because your mama's job? Paragraph one. Choice B. I know, Kincaid, but things work out, most times better than we expect. Paragraph three. C. I've taught you the way Grandma taught me, like her grandmother before her, passing on our stories to those coming after us. Paragraph 21. This was taken from my wedding dress when I married your Grandpa Wilfred, she said, touching a patch of satin the color of her croup. Paragraph 24. Question five. Which paragraph best expresses a theme of the story? Paragraph 10, choice B. Paragraph 13, choice C. Paragraph 20, choice D. Paragraph 23. Question six. Read Grandma Telly's words from paragraph 26 of the story. Remember, Kincaid, we take our loved ones in our hearts wherever we go. I won't be more than a heartbeat away. When Grandma Telly says she won't be more than a heartbeat away, she means she won't seem far because A, Kincaid can always think about her. B, she and Kincaid are blood relatives. C, she'll be thinking of Kincaid all the time. D, Kincaid can always call her on the telephone.
So I hope this reading of excerpt from Grandma Tally will help you. Do the best you can and take your time and don't forget to go back to the text.